Yes, come on, come on, don't be shy. Off the cobbles. Squeeze in, squeeze in. Left leg, right leg, there you go, shut up. Do you know where you are? You're in my world now. And here, the game is only as good as the player. So let's play. We're going to the casino. The rules are very simple. Do as you're told. And you won't get slapped. Do you understand? Do you understand? Good. Now, let me introduce you to the pieces on the board. First up, we have Mr. Blue. This flash bastard reinvented the suit. He's what they call a real gentleman. Once you look in the part, you'll meet our resident nut job, Mad Davy. He may look fresh from the loony bin, but he knows a thing or two about casinos. When you're all sorted, Trevor Sharp wants a word. He's Eddie's boy, bloody good kid. Gone a little haywire since his old man kicked it, so be careful around him. Now, nah, we've got a man inside. He goes by Teddy Quid and a half cheeky bastard. He's our game maker, so you better listen good. Oh. And if you see Red Harry about, you best be sure to hold your tongue. Here's what we'd call a liability. Still, a loaded gun can be useful if you know where to point it. Our boy Mickey the Rat knows more about what moves on the streets than the rats themselves. Once you two have knocked the place down, you gotta get the hell out of there and find Tommy. Now it may be a yank, but Big Tommy is all class. If you've got the money and all your fingers, he might even put you to work. And my name is Alfie Strong. I'm but a humble entrepreneur. When you're in bed with me, you've got front row seats to the whole show. You're waking up. Now, there'll be a few quid in this for you if you're smart. But we gotta play it old school. Cause this ain't soft money. You are to take this to Mr. Blue. Tell him how if he sent ya. Anyway, I'm not here to suck off spiders. Time to be on your merry way. Go on, bon voyage, life out. Toodle pip, jog on. Oh wait, one more thing. Don't cock it up. You are right on time. You can call me Mr. Blue. You're Alfie's newest recruit. I've got my work cut out with you, haven't we? Listen to me. I don't know you. You're on time. And Alfie vouches for you. Him and I go way back, even Mad Davy, go a long way back. Now Alfie is a city lad, but he's a man to walk the mountains with. If you do right by him, he'll do right by you. You hear me? Now he sent you to me because he likes his crew to... 
carry themselves well. That old adage about it's not what you wear, it's how you wear it. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You give me £5,000 and I give you a homeless guy and I'll give you the fanciest, smartest, most elegant looking man in the whole establishment. A suit. Well tailored. Fitted. Seamless. That can make a man. He need not even open his mouth. I'll speak volumes. No. I would offer you a glass of my 33 year old Macallan, but we'll save that. Post heist, shall we? I'm pressed for time here. Hold out your arms outstretched as if you're about to do a star jump. But don't jump. You imagine you from fingertip to fingertip. We call it the wingspan. Good. Just hold still. I'm not curious about how you know Alfie or how you came to be in his crew. Just part your legs a little bit, please. Don't get too excited. And a leg. It's the measurement that can make or break a good suit. Shoulder to shoulder. Good. Now, I hope, for your sake, that nervosity, that look of uh, anxiousness, dissolves a wee bit before I actually get started. Don't you worry. Did nothing to worry about. It's a good bunch of lads, like I said. And they're not as judgmental as you might imagine. Alfie's word is iron. If he says you're the right stuff, you're the right stuff. Shoulder to rest. Now this is a ridiculous question. But have you thought about fabrics? How you'd like to carry yourself? Now I've got a penchant for the pastel colours. Brings out my eyes. Shoulder to rest. You might wonder why I measure in both sides, but you wouldn't be the first human being I've come across with a different length of arms. Chest. I'm thinking something checkered. Italian, of course. And the waist. See, in a good suit, you can change the world. You know, a nice smile will take you around the block, as they say, but a nice suit will take you around the world. Excellent. I'm thinking a grey check, perhaps. Don't want you clashing with Alfie. He wouldn't you like that. Aye, 
I'll do. Grey check suit. Something off colour for the shirt. We want you to announce yourself. But we don't want you screaming in anyone's ears, you know. I'm not going to roll you out there in a yellow, pink tailed. Cufflinks. We need to sort you out with a proper set of cufflinks. Just before you came in, actually, I was looking something rather special out. Since you're one of Alfie's, only the finest will do. I'd like to introduce you. I call these the twins. Platinum. Each cufflink will set you back about two thousand six hundred pounds. Maybe get it for two four in the right area. Solid platinum. Diamond underlay. Perfect polished finish. I tell you, you walk into any bar, any casino. You pull very slightly on the shirt. Platinum pops out, catches the light, and it'll draw the attention of all the sexes. And that's what you want to do, be subtle about it. You're not announcing yourself. The suit will do that for you. The cufflink is the bow that ties to present. It's a small detail. And the shoes, we need to get the right shoes. Now, what I need you to do is go back through the house, take a seat, I'll get everything ready for you. It'll be in a bag, a Ziploc bag, with a coat hanger. Simple. Undo the zipper, take out the suit, wear the suit. Look amazing. It's going to take me five, ten minutes to put it together. All right, be off with you. Just take a seat. I'll be with you momentarily with your suit. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Good, 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 good. I'm Davy. My job is to get you ready for the task that we will be performing. It's my job to familiarise you with the layout of the building. The whole point of that is to get you so confident, so relaxed. The thing you walk in there, anybody who's looking around locks eyes on you, give you a quick once over, and they look at somebody else. Why are they going to do that? Why are they going to look at you for only two or three seconds and then look at someone else? I'll tell you why. You're going to study. You're going to study the layout of the building. Now, I've taken the liberty of programming this. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Oh, thank God. You know how to use them, right? Good. Yeah, it's a VR. I've spent weeks, weeks, actual weeks, programming this with the layout of the building. Honestly, I've not had much sleep the last few weeks because I've been busy doing that. And I've been doing it for you. 
So it's now your turn to take this and study it in excruciating detail. Which is exactly what you're going to do, right? That's right. Thank you. I like cooperation. So it's brilliant. Thank you. There's a variety of spots throughout the casino. Now, I know it quite well. I've been there a few times, which is why I was able to program. In doing so, I'll show you this really quickly. I took this. I can't show you all because it's kind of top secret, but this is a 3D mapping camera. I use this to a great risk to myself, by the way, which is why I'm getting an extra bonus to map the layout of the casino. Now, I went back several times over several months and the people at this casino were quite lazy. They don't actually change much. You know, there was a couple of things, a table moved here, a chair there, a couple of machines moved, but the general layout stayed the same, which is brilliant for you and me, especially for you because that's how I was able to get a 100% accurate 3D map of the place for you to take home and study. All that hard work, all the programming, and all your studying, why are we doing that? Why are we doing it? I mean, what's the point? You could go in without it. The whole point is for two reasons. Number one, so you know where the guards and the pit bosses stand and sit and monitor the patrons of which you will be their latest patron, right? You know where they'll be. And number two, if you know the layout of this place, like the I was going to say like the back of your own hand, but nobody knows the back of their own hand that well. Like your house. If you know the layout of this casino, like your own home, you're going to stride in there smooth as silk. You're going to go walking up to the nearest mirror. Just your die. You're going to walk over to the bar, get a wee drink. You certainly are not going to have any nervous beads of sweat pouring down your forehead, are you? That's right. I spent weeks programming it. You spend several days learning it. That's the trade-off. Only to get to such a level of confidence and relaxation that you will just stride in there. They will look at you but they will look at you for no more than two or three seconds before they realise. Through your body language, if nothing else, that this person is of absolutely no concern to us. But if you're slack, if you don't study, they won't look at you for two or three seconds, they'll look at you for more like 30 seconds and that could jeopardise the entire job, and we can't help that. Now, unfortunately for you, my nickname is well deserved. I hate it, but the boys gave it to me, and I've learned to trust their judgement, and I think it is quite descriptive, even though I don't like it. So if you don't study for this job properly, I will go we'd be mad. But that's not going to happen, is it? No, that's not going to happen at all. Is it? No, it's not going to happen at all. I can tell just by looking at the, you that you're small. Very small. So, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Here, take this. And don't drop it. 
if you drop it, it's coming out of your share, which will be substantial. So don't worry about it. You could buy like a hundred thousand of them by the time we're done. So anyway, listen, I'm going to hand you over to my mate Trevor. He's got some information for you, and uh, you'll go for the next steps. Okay. Study hard. Don't let me down. Go on. seen a bloke on the map before. Well, where did I get him? Well, I went up the stairs to the loft. Get some ammo. And I remember we still had some of these in the kitchen. Couldn't find any pears though. Quite juicy. What's that? Right, sue yourself. You ready for the big job? The casino. Always want to do something like that. Alfie already filled you in with the details, didn't he? They have got nothing to worry about. We're almost ready to go. So, make sure you're in the right mindset. Settle down, meditate, whatever helps you stay focused. Things get out of hand in there. Can't have anyone piss themselves on accounts. And we will get in trouble in there. One hundred percent. You should always expect it. No matter how safe a job may seem. Trust me. Sometimes. Even the most harmless situations all oh, well breaks loose because of one simple mistake. So, focus. Stay in control. Relax. And everything will be fine. This is what I like to do. Get some a little something to eat. Well, it's about cutting things mostly. It's nothing quite as relaxing to me as having a knife. It has to be He's a shark though. Otherwise it pisses me off. This used to be my dad's knife. He gave it to me after my first job. He loved and the knife so much. He ended up being stabbed. Quite the irony, isn't it? The eyes he lived. 
Ich bin nach, ich will If you ask me, Trevor, how do you win in a knife fight? I would ask you, are you stupid? Listen, mate, nobody wins in a knife fight. As soon as your opponent has a knife, you're gonna get hurt. You might get away with a few gashes. You can sew back up. But I wouldn't bet on it. Run unless you've got a gun, that's what I always say. Learn from your pot and pan. Nah, my dad was a great man. He just weren't the brightest. Always got himself into trouble. Always pay for it dearly. Play stupid games and stupid prize. Do you know what I mean? You keep your eyes peeled. Watch our backs. We watch yours. This is a team effort. But I'm not worried about you. I'm more worried about Red Harry. That loud ain't pointed. If you ask me, it's volatile, unstable. Stop you. Anything that was wrong might be him. But Alfie, he trusts him. Got some mystery together. Went for a thick and thin, that's what I heard. We all was something. Toffee, for better or worse. Well, uh, I need some time alone before I get going. So, if you don't mind, see you later. Oi, son. Looks like you've landed with me. Congratulations. I'm the one that's going to make you rich now based on your sharp attire it appears you've seen mr blue congratulations you look fantastic also based on the fact that you're talking to me that means you've had a chit chat with our good friend alfie he's got you all sorted out logistically with the highs and the lows and you probably had a little chit chat with our good friend Mad Baby. He's got you kitted out with all the essentials. Now we come to the main event. What your job is, is to not bollocks this up. Now, my job at a casino is typically a pit boss. However, when you arrive, one of our dealers is suddenly going to become very ill. So ill, they are going to have to be escorted from the premises, leaving a vacant croupier position. I am going to fill that croupier position. And when I give you the signal, you are going to put everything you own on red 23. You got that? Red 23. Now, you are going to get rich off of this. As long as you play your hand right. When you arrive in the casino, 
What are you going to do? Walk into the high roller room. Have a good look around. Find me. Have a seat. When I give you my signal, I'm going to pinch my cuffs. Both just like that. And as I said, you will then place everything you own on red 23. We need to create a distraction. You with me so far? Good. Now, in the event, you might find your tummy a bit rumbly. You might get a bit nervous. And you might think you're not going to put all that cheddar into play. Now, that would be a big mistake. If you do that, and you don't do as you're told, I'm going to have to introduce you to my friend Red Harry. The thing is, you don't want to meet Red Harry unless you're sitting down with him for a pint. And if you're not sitting down with him for a pint, bad things can happen. You might recall the famous documentary Snatch, in which a character named Bricktop describes how to properly dispose of a human body. It turns out, if you starve a pig for a few days, the sight of a human body will appear to it like curry to a piss head. And if you would like to dispose of an entire body in one sitting, you need about 16 pigs. 16 pigs will go through a 200 pound man in about 8 minutes. Meaning, one pig can eat 2 pounds of human flesh in about 1 minute. It just so happens that my good friend, and hopefully yours, Red Harry, loves the pigs. So, it would be in your best interest to do as you're told. Play your game right. Listen, stay cool, and you are going to be worth a lot of money. You savvy? Good. Now, I'll see you back at the casino. Kisses, love. Welcome to the Executive Club. Here, the minimum buy-in is £100,000. What would you like to buy in for today? £500,000? Very good. One hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. Three hundred thousand. Four hundred thousand. And five hundred thousand. How would you like to place your first bet? 100,000 on red. Excellent. Placing 100,000 on red. Good luck. Black, 26. Terribly sorry. Place your next bet. 100,000 on red again. Good luck. Black, 
11. Terribly sorry. Would you like to place another bet? 300,000 on the black. Very good. Placing 300,000 on black. Good luck. Black, 31. Congratulations. How would you like to place your bed? Leave it on black. 600,000 on black. Good luck. Black, 28. Congratulations. Five hundred and six hundred thousand pounds. Well done. Your next bet. Everything on red twenty three. One point two million pounds. Betting one point two million pounds on red. 23 1.2 million pounds on red 23 Best of luck. Red 23. Congratulations. You just won. 42 million pounds. You would like to cash out now? Of course. Please see our concierge and they will be happy to cut you a check for 42 million pounds. Well done. Please come back anytime you like and we look forward to seeing you again. Hello sunshine. How's it going? Yeah, it does seem to be going tip-top, doesn't it? A little bit too smoothly, if you ask me. See, I like a bit of a commotion. It's a nice word, commotion. I like that. I do. Anyway. I suppose you might say that when there's a commotion, that's when Red Harry comes into his own. Now, I know that you know why I'm here, but I want to make sure that you know why I'm here. All right. Now you see, Alfie, it's a good bloke, Alfie. I like Alfie. 
Alfie tells me that you're all right. Tells me that you're a top bloke. But you see, the thing is, I don't know you. And I don't like you. And I definitely don't trust you. Now, you know why they call me Red Harry, don't you? No, it's not because of the air. They always think it's because of the air. But you see, what it is, yeah. I like to think of myself as a bit of an artiste. Because you see, I love to paint. I really do love to paint. I paint things red. Now I don't use a brush and I don't use paint. But I paint things red. And I'm a very good painter. <laughs> You're hearing what I'm saying to you. But are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Good. Because I just want things to be crystal clear between us, yeah? Now let's think of this as a cordial conversation between two, hopefully, soon to be friends. But if anything does go any other way than tip top for the rest of the night, anything at all, slightest little hiccup you see I'm gonna assume that you had something to do with it and if that happens well I'm gonna have to go to work on my next masterpiece and you are a pretty one aren't you you'd make a beautiful painting Good. Now, if anything were to go wrong, if anything were to happen to me, you might have this idea in your head. You know, it's ideas they tend to surface, don't they? Whether you want them to or not. And we are all entrepreneurial souls, aren't we? Well, if you've got that idea in your head, the one that says, maybe we don't all make it out tonight. Maybe only you make it out tonight. Be a nice piece of the pie, that, wouldn't it? Hmm. But you see, the thing is, pie doesn't taste very good when your jugular's not there. And if anything does happen to me, it's all right. Because the boys here tonight, well, they're good boys. I like them, I do. Good bunch of boys. But you see, there's another bunch of boys that I hang around with. And they're not good. No, you see the red boys, they're a bit like me. Not quite the same artistry. But they do love a commotion. And they know all about you. Because I told them. Of course I told them. Yeah. And you see, they're going to be watching what happens tonight too. Now Alfie, he doesn't know that. That's between you and me. All right? It's my little secret that I'm sharing with you. So, I suggest you consider the fact that it's in your best interest to make absolutely sure that things keep going smoothly and that nothing goes wrong. All right. Good. Now, 
suggest you get back out of there. You've got a job to do, ain't you? Do it well, yeah? Do it well. You are Gav. You're Barney. You're ones and twos. All a bit of a mess. No synchronisation between them. You know what I'm saying? Oh well. Don't matter, does it? We've got a job to do. You know me. I'm Mickey the Rat. What you probably don't know is that rats can actually chew through anything. Yeah, even concrete. I wanted to be a mouse, but copyright. Anyway, we for one thing, and one thing only, to crack some saves. If we do this in a timely manner, we can pop down the strand after, grab a banana, find the nearest battle cruiser, you know, have a swift off. You can tinkle the old China for a bit before we head off with all the tomfoolery and bread. Eh? Sound good? Good. Safe cracking is an art. It's not like all that other stuff you've been learning about while you've been here. If you do say crack and roll, you're brown bread, mate. You understand? Oh, yeah. And more than a pony in it for you if you learn to ride proper like the cats want to. But you've got to get a little bit funny. We've got to play. Some doctors and nurses. You ready to play? Chum. Good. Right. So, there are about 30 of these little safety deposit boxes throughout this vault. The quicker that we get them done, the swifter we get rich. If you catch and get in my drift, speed is of the essence, my friend. So get your old doctor's lug on like this and place it up against the safe at a location with which you can successfully hear the ticking of the secure door. Then we turn ever so gently listening out for anything that might tell us that we done it right. You see what I mean? And there we go. 
for me old copper. Easy as pie. But twice as tasty. And tasty it is. Right. We need to do that about 30 more times, mate. seen a guy this particular before huh? listen two continents of organized crime okay not a single arrest warrant not a single night in jail not a, not not a speeding ticket okay so don't tell me that I'm too particular because this is why I'm good this is why they have me counting the money Okay, so don't tell me I'm too particular. You still got a lot to learn. Jesus, one more cockney bastard with his hand in my one hand in my pocket. No, don't tell me that I got the accent. Okay, you got the accent. No, this is funny over here. It's an adjustment, but uh, I like the way these guys do business over here compared to home. It's a little cleaner, less messy. How do you like your whiskey? On the rocks, perfect. Now listen, I don't want you to come out of this night thinking that you're some hot shot or you got balls like the rest of us guys, okay? But you've earned it. So, drink up. No, stay. I'll come around and give it to you. And look, I don't trust you yet. I like you. The guys like you. I mean, look at you in that suit. Blue did a good job, huh? But before you let that smirk on your face get too big, I need you to understand one thing. That doesn't mean that if you screw up, then I won't put a knife in your chest. Just remember that. Which brings me to my next order of business. I got another job. It's easy, but uh, I hope you don't mind getting a little messy. And maybe you don't have to. It's all in how you do it with your voice. I got a couple of guys on the east side. Uh, they think we're running a charity. <laughs> so we need to send a little message. No, no, you don't have to take that, okay? Like I said, it's all in how you use your voice. You got like a, a baseball bat or a crowbar or something like that. Take that. It's a better idea. 
just make sure that uh, they're not late on any more payments or think that they get extra lead time because they know me. They don't know me. Got it? I got a good feeling about you. I can see it in your eyes. I think you'll do okay. Still got a lot to learn, but uh, I'm going to go out there and say that uh, you got what it takes. Now I'm going to go count this money. If we're short, we're going to know who it is. It's going to be you. The rest of these guys, uh, they've been vetted. They know how it works. So speak now or forever hold your peace. Got anything you want to tell us? No skimming off the top, nothing like that. Okay. I believe you. Like I said, I like you. And uh, I think you'll do okay. Just don't prove me wrong. Because you'll be sorry. Not me. Enjoy.